Hey everybody, it's Check the Effects coming at you with a brand new season of the Jinsu Empire and we've officially moved away from Paradise Realms and we've settled here on Empire Minecraft that's also show known as EMC and you know we've had some issues where we're at Paradise Realms but uh, the official choice for moving here has been uh, due to the fact that every year we have a refresh on Paradise Realms and also, there are certain aspects of the server that didn't allow for a nation concept, whereas on Empire Minecraft, they allow for the nation concept to flourish, which is great. And we actually met some people here who've already started their very own nations with multiple cities as such, where um, Paradise Realms, they kind of frowned on having multiple towns with uh, multiple world guards. Here, we don't have to worry about world guards or things like that, which is awesome. And um, also, we'd like to have note about the anti-griefing system here. That's been great. We've been able to manage our own griefing system, our, our own, you know, uh, protection, etc. Don't have to worry about uh, world guards and stuff like that. So we've employed that uh, here at Empire Minecraft. Now, I've been on this server. Actually, I've had a home here on this server before I was even on Empire Minecraft. Uh, before I was on Paradise Realms, about three years or so. And uh, it's so it's this is server is actually much older than PR. Um, it's also much larger. You can see up to like a hundred people on the server at once. Has a capacity for about a thousand people and a uh, thousand players, and has a very you know a very dedicated, uh, mature staff that a uh, very professional staff uh, that's taking uh, taking care of the server, including their own development team. So uh, it's really really well done, uh, really well well laid out type of server, and it's pretty successful it's been running for I don't know how many years now should probably check up on that but it's been it was way older than our previous server so we're moving here now this is very much a legit survival server so we don't have any type of perks like flying or teleporting things like that so with that the very first episode we're doing is how to get to Jinsu and uh, so I'm gonna be going through that right now so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're on the right servers Empire Minecraft is consisting of several servers so we get what we can do is just go to uh, SMP1 so if we just go to slash SMP1 and I enter and I'm already there so it'll take you to this server that's after you've done the tutorial and everything so once you're finished the, finish the tutorial if it's your first time coming on do slash SMP1 and then you're gonna come on here next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look around for the wilderness uh, warp that's gonna take you to the frontier so because we're in the frontier here so here we are the frontier spawn out there is the I like to call I like to call it staff town because it's the main town area where you can build your own place. Uh, you can actually teleport from place to place very quickly and very easily. Um, and uh, but the thing is, in the frontier, you can't do that. Um, only with the town area. Once you get here, you want to make sure you're in the far east now. Um, if it which and it should look something like like this here. You see, you know, there's. Uh, a dock over there, etc. And I believe this is the Far East spawn, if I remember correctly. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go and go to the 10,000 East, uh, to the East outpost, so 10,000 East. Go here and I end up at the 10,000 East um, spawn that's here. So now I'm going to go down over to the docks. This is on the south end. So you'll see Empire Boat and Tackle Shop. So we're going to go out here, and the first thing you can do is you can either go and buy a boat if there are no any boats that are here already. So I see there's a boat here already, I'm going to hop in there, and I'm going to go ahead and... I'm facing directly east, so I see if you look for the sun, uh, if the sun is rising, it'll be in this direction. You can also press the F3 key on your keyboard and just look, and you'll see it's facing east. And uh, what we're looking for is that building that I have in my crosshairs right now. You also see that there is the Jinsu flag. Right next to it is the Saturnia flag. Saturnia is our neighbors here on Empire Minecraft. Uh, really nice folks in Saturnia. And they have this the uh, this is the uh, portal to our nether rail to Saturnia and the town hall and the rail to Jinsu. So let's go in here. And oh I think they actually have let's see there might be some stuff in here. Sometimes they have food in here you can use you can uh, use and uh, see if, if you don't have anything with you now the currency they use in game here is called rupees so it's pretty much in game cash and what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to take a minecraft from here out of the chest and then you're going to put it right over here 
you're going to right click on there, jump into your minecart, push the forward button to get yourself going, and you're on your way. Now, while you're on the rail, you want to try and do a couple of things. First off, when you get on here, your settings are going to be pretty high. So what we're going to do is we're going to do slash PS to check change your player settings, or PS for player settings. Hit enter, and this is going to come up with select PS group to view or change settings. So we're going to open up your chat, and then you're going to click on the survival related settings over here. Click on survival, and that's going to open up this set of uh, settings over here. Now the ones we're going to be concerned about are the mini boss spawns, enraged spawns, and the difficulty. And if you click on here, it says choose your personal difficulty preferences. One is easiest, ten is hardest. Playing a low difficulty will result in less item drops. Higher difficulty will give you more item drops. Experience bonus is also increased with higher difficulty. Now, also with higher difficulty means that the mobs are more frequent and harder to beat. So it's uh, when you're going into town, this is something that you want to set to a very low settings. Uh, you also have uh, basically where uh, your whether your mini bosses will spawn around you uh, may still spawn for a player near you. And then also this, this is the same thing for enraged monsters. So you want to make sure that you, these are set to off. So let's go to click on or for the mini boss. We're going to click on all, and then you make sure it clicks on off. My mind's already off. You'll see that there's a little asterisk beside it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on off, and it says your mini boss spawn settings is now off on all servers. I'm going to do the same thing with the enraged spawns. Click on off, and it says your enraged spawns setting is now off for all servers. Then I'm going to go to difficulty. My mind's already set to one, but I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. Click on all, and then I'm going to click on one, and then it says your difficulty setting is now one on all servers. And uh, once that's done, you can just uh, you know get out of your chat and then just enjoy the ride all the way to Saturnia, and that's where we're going to be heading. Now the Saturnians, uh, you know, they've been really good to us. They uh, they were established well before we were, and they are the ones who built this rail. We just happen to have settled across the ocean from them. Um, so we're actually directly south of the Saturnians across the ocean, and they're just north of us. So um, because uh, they've already been well settled, they've been very nice to us and allowing us to use this rail system to allow people to travel uh, to and from town, uh, the town area, and to Jinsu. Um, now, this rail only exists on the Saturnian side. We eventually will connect up to Saturnia with our own rail system. And um, typically, if you want to know if a rail is dedicated to the Saturnian side, uh, you can just take a look at the number of rails there are. Uh, the Saturnians have only built a single rail system as they didn't really foresee any large amount of traffic uh, for their rail system. In Jinsu, we did foresee a large amount of traffic in our rail system, given the fact that when we started out, we started out like, I don't know, a good five or six people coming in uh, to help out. Now, I was the first one here, and I actually traveled all the way by ocean before we met the people in Saturnia. So, at the moment that uh, this rail comes here, hit the cactus, and then it goes into this chest. If you're coming all the way back, you can get your minecart from here, and you go back the same way. I'm just going to go ahead and go through here, and just wait for myself to get to the overworld, and you end up in the Saturnian Town Hall. Now, to get to the next step, uh, you now might notice there is an ender chest here. You can go ahead and open up stuff here where you can get everything for your ender chest. But what you're going to do is going to go outside, and over here you're going to look around, and you're going to see that there's a road here. Where you can now I'm fa facing with, I'm gonna face with my back towards the town hall. I'm gonna turn right, so I'm heading south. Right. If you look over here, if I look at my top right here, you'll see facing south. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here this way. There's an intersection here. I'm passing through this intersection, and I'm walking over here. I'm gonna make a right at this intersection here, and then the very next intersection, I'm gonna make a left. But I'm gonna go right up onto these stairs and into here. This is the Saturnian Rail Station for Newport, I think it's called. Uh, uh, yep, Newport Bay. So Newport Bay, this is the name of this town, that's the capital of Saturnia. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click here for Jinsu, the light will turn on, and that'll switch the rail so that I end up going to Jinsu. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this wooden button here to get myself a minecart. There goes the minecart. I'm going to pop up here. 
I'm gonna push this button and push forward at the same time and then there you go and I'm on my way to Jinsu so this rail is one that was designed uh, by us and built by the Saturnians this particular portion that is and you'll see this is uh, th this section was more well lit up I don't know what happened someone came in and decided to uh, mess things up uh, we did have a thief unfortunately here in uh, that came in to uh, Jinsu some time ago and so we had a thief in our mess and that was eventually taken care of thanks to uh, investigation done by the Saturnians again uh, we had also some members of the security team on Jitsu who managed to take care of everything. Um, but ultimately it was the route taken by the Saturnian leaders, uh, both Drogon and Cypher 5, who managed to find the thief and not just find the thief, but also have proper evidence uh, proving that they were uh, the thief and managed to get them banned off of Empire Minecraft. And we also kicked them off of our Discord server as well. Now, uh, just to let you guys know that we before when I first landed here, I this was this rail was not here. Um, I explored the oceans uh, by boat. I had decided to go to the far east because I wanted to rebuild Jinsu here, and I was thinking about it. And of course, Jinsu being East Asian, I decided to go far to the far east. So I just, so I just decided to go on a. I ended up on SMP one. I have another home on SMP four, which I've had for the longest time before PR even started. And um, yeah, so I switched over here, and I uh, just got an SAP one and we headed east and took a boat and just started paddling, 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 and ended up finding myself in uh, finding a nice little opening into the mainland uh, uh, that was south of Saturnia, and just went in there and I uh, found a bay and it was a nice convenient space because there was a river that went in deep enough into in inland that made it you know, uh, a nice little place to stay. No one else had been there before. Set up shop with a little shack. And uh, now it's developed. We had, and then afterwards, just had, uh, just kept on exploring. Went down even further south, trying to look for a horse saddle. And uh, managed to land into an NPC village. And that is now the, uh, very f that was now the first settlement of Jinsu. Uh, we now have two cities in Jinsu coming up when well, we have the city of Hagang and also Kaijo Ni we comes back with its returning Shogun so uh, Suki Ryu uh, we have also uh, Linia Wayne and Amelia Wayne the Wayne sisters of Jushan also becoming they're returning uh, they also returned they helped build the railway that uh, helped us connect back from that uh, first settlement over to where I first landed uh, in Jinsu and that area where we first landed is now where Hagang is. We are now just building up the Shogunite Mansion in Hagang. Now, we had Squid the Squid RS, aka Squiddy, who was um, the sh Shogun when we f uh, that was first assigned Shogun to Hagang. Uh, unfortunately, Squ Squiddy hasn't been around for a long time now. I think it's been over a couple of months. I could actually do a quick check on him. So I just do uh, scene Squid the squid rs and you can see that he has been offline for 57 days and he's officially in derelict status um that's there and let's see here uh first i signed in on empire 123 days ago so he hasn't been on for a while and uh, so another thing you notice that we've got a few dark spots here in the tunnel again. That's thanks to the thief that was kept on damaging things and breaking things in here in Jinsu. Uh, and also, and they were stealing from Saturnia, which was really bad. So, this so Squiddy has not been on for a while. So, we have Wild Elf, uh, another returning player from uh, Jinsu, who uh, was on Paradise Realms with us, as returning as an acting shogun. In the meantime, while we wait for Squiddy to return, if Squid does not return within, I guess, a few more days, he has a total of, uh, I think, two months uh, in order for him to return. If he doesn't return within two months after two months of act low activity, we may make the acting shogun the full-on shogun and uh, take the old shogun and then move him on to a, uh, the status of honorary former shogun. Uh, now, that does not mean he can't come in and play on... Uh, 
a part of the jiu-jitsu community that's far from it he's more than welcome to come it's just that due to activity we have we have to be sure that there is a proper shogun in the in any town when they have a shogun the reason is, is to keep that city and that town and the community in it alive that's why we switch the shoguns due to inactivity we always have to make sure we have an active shogun it's not something that we could just drop a time if you if you're not if you're someone who is a shogun and you decide that or that you're not going to be active for a while then we have to put an acting shogun in your place until you return if you don't return then we had to put in the acting shogun as the full-on shogun or assign it to a different person if the acting shogun decides to decline the position of shogun we all so now recently we also had uh uh, Queen assigned as uh, the uh, assistant shogun to Wild Elf, um, who is the shogun of, Shagan, of Hagan, so she's also there. We've had a number of uh, old faces come back, Linnea Wayne, Amelia Wayne, Void Chaser recently, recently has come back to us. Uh, we've also have uh, Always Been Heck, um, and a few others a little tina she came on uh she hasn't been on for a while i think she's mostly on uh, paradise realms but uh she's uh, been on with us for, uh, but uh she was on with us earlier in the early times helped us do a lot of exploration um we had hawaii play hawaii gaming and hawaii playback unfortunately those two got banned for using illegal mods i will make a strong suggestion to anyone who is coming in on this particular server before you get on make sure you clear out any and all mods or hacks on your client because if you don't you uh, run the risk of being auto banned from the server because this server is extremely picky on what mods are allowed and what mods are not if you want to know what mods are allowed feel free to check out the uh, Empire Minecraft forums in order to find out those particular details we also have some new faces oh we have also ninja trc i think he was also called ninja yt also he went by a couple of names but he's returning back as well um squiddy was also returning face and uh, ninja has been assigned as the uh, military admiral and charge of security so he's taking care of that he is basically the one who keeps uh, who assigns different uh, military personnel to, to escorting people military uh, like you know combat wise so that anyone who's traveling along has defense against mobs or whatever it might be they also they do things like expeditions scouting things like that that help with uh, uncovering the map so another nice feature they have here is the ability to have a dynamic map what it means is in your browser you can actually open up a map so we do slash map and you do that and you point to this portion here you'll see there is a uh, live map a link you can click on and if you do that it will bring you to the live map area uh, now and then you'll be able to see yourself on that map as well as other players along with you uh, looks like we're already in the uh, area here for the station now uh, this station I can tell you we had a far better system I think it got damaged by that little thief fellow that we had before unfortunately but once you're out you want to take your my cart and just put them in here so this is the uh, this, this temporary station that we have now the idea that we have to go from one place to another whether to go to Saturnia or to go to Jinsu is to follow that nation's respective flag so what we do here is we just look in here and I there used to be chests here and a whole bunch of other nice things here I don't know like we used to have but you just go out here and you can see it says railroad safety house uh, that's exactly where it is go down this path if you look back and see what the house looks like uh it looks like it's been altered quite a bit and i don't know what happened here but the front facade has been changed from what we had originally planned it to be someone's done something to it but uh, anyways we'll fix that once but make it back i don't know who the heck designed it like that's terrible so anyways let's go this way here and we're gonna go down here follow the path and uh, we're going to go down this way down here and what we're doing, going to do is we're head over to the boathouse so now the boathouse here uh, you can go in here it says here boathouse just go in here and right in this chest you'll find some boats here so you can just take one boat just one okay and then you can take that over to uh, where we have the docks so I already have a one waiting for me back at the docks so it's going to go here 
and yep, and to your docks right here. There's the dock, so I'm gonna just go jump in this boat right here. I'm gonna turn the boat around, and then I'm gonna head out here. Now we have a system of buoys here that allow you to find your way to Jinsu. And um, yeah, Linia has joined us here. Actually, Linia is uh, should be in the chat. Nice, you can say hi, Linia. <laughs> so that's Linia. She is the Shogun of Zhushan that will be coming up. So uh, here we have uh, the Jinsu flags. And the way the system works is if you point, point yourself so that you're looking at both flags, that means that you're going to an angle, you'll be able to get to the next buoy. So you go that side and you'll see that there's another buoy over here at an angle. Now on the opposite side of those, of that uh, buoy you'll see that there is a Saturnian flag and that basically points in the direction of Saturnia if you're, pac if you're facing both Saturnian flags. If there's only one flag on the buoy, let's say if you want to go to Jinsu and you only see one Jinsu flag, you just had to face that one particular flag like in this way. So I think this one they've got only one flag so you want to go like facing this way so go that way until you see another buoy. So there's another buoy right over there so we're going to turn over this way and keep on following the directions that the buoys point us into. Now some of these may not be directly horizontal but eventually what you want to try to do is put your render distance on the furthest possible distance you can get if you can. I would suggest Optifine. Now, the Optifine is one of the few uh, mods that is allowed on this server. Remember, like I said before, take a, uh, you can take a look at the uh, Empire Minecraft forums in order to find which um, mods are allowed. Otherwise, best to go Pure Vanilla, uh, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm on Pure Vanilla. So I'm just going to keep on following these buoys until I get to Jinsu. Um, I'm just going to probably fast forward through this. So here we go. So eventually we'll come to the final buoy over here. And after that you'll see that there is a river with a tree in a marsh type of, mom, a type of uh, biome tree. With a flag of the with a Jinsu flag here. Now on the back of this, if you're going back to town, it says here use the trail of buoys and blue flags to navigate to Saturnia, and that basically this is the same way back to get to Saturnia. So what we're going to do is we won't go to Jinsu, so we're going to head to Hagan by following these this river down here, and um, this will eventually take us to the town of Hagan. And uh, right now we're officially in Jinsu territory. We have even uh, gone so far as to place Jinsu flags all around the coastline of this continent, uh, which we have claimed, claimed to as our home. Uh, we have plans in our Discord server, which tell exactly what's going on right now. Uh, when I came here, this whole place was thick forest, as you can see, like this. And there's the Jinsu flag, and there you can see there's the uh, cabin, the logging, ca logging and fishing cabin, which we started. This play, this was a spot right there where I had my very first uh, structure of my home. We tore it down afterwards to get the railway up. Uh, now, second home after that was Squiddy's house over there, and then of course this bridge with Squiddy started and uh, Sugi Ryu finished off. Uh, we decided on using this type of style for the uh, lamps and the all around. And then a house over there, of, and that's mine, that I've uh, put for myself. And then also we have a house over there that is for Always Ben Heck. And these were the f only two homes that we had, and we really had a big need for uh, additional housing. We have that house over there that belongs to, um, to, uh, so to Ninja. And Cam, who is uh, a new player from Art, uh, who is on EMC, well, not, he's a veteran on EMC, but uh, new to, uh, relatively new to the group. Uh, he has his pagoda that's going up over there. And whoa, here we have Linia. <laughs> she's right behind me. So Linia is, uh, she's from uh, Finland. So right now it's like 4.20 a.m. here uh, in uh, North America, in Ontario. And uh, she's, so this is the only time that she can be on. Fortunately, she misses out on a lot of stuff from everybody else as of late due to the fact that uh, I think she, she's in uh, university now, right now? Yep, yep. Uh, you can talk if you want to, Lynn. That's not worry about it. 
So here's so you can see who's talking in the top right corner. You can see my name when I'm talking, and when Lynn talks, you can see her name as well. So if Lynn goes says something, Hi. <laughs> yeah, I guess it. There you go. You can see her name in the top right hand corner of my screen there. So we have this little form. Why are there so many sheeps? Yeah. Well, because need we need wool. And wow, someone really bred a lot of sheep to uh, like recently. Yeah. That's a ton of sheep. Yeah. That is a really big amount of sheep. Yeah. Wow. It's, co it's causing me lag. Like but uh, yeah, we got llamas here. Uh, I think we got llamas in front of Ben's house over there as well. Uh, we started this building, which is the western wing of the Shogunate Mansion for Hegang. And we are still currently in the uh, process of building this place. You can still you see it's still under construction with the eastern wing coming up. And the western wing is practically, it is done. This is, this is finished. Um, if you go in, eventually, when you, if you first move into uh, Jinsu, the first thing you want to do is visit Hagang's Shogunate Mansion and pick out an apartment for yourself. Because this is the place where people who don't have a house, uh, who just got in here, will be uh, living. Now uh, you can see here we got one for uh, Beep Beep Baba Jeep. Uh, Beep Beep changed his name eventually to uh, something else we haven't have to updated. We have uh, Yellow Soap who is an old uh, PR player. Uh, we have Night Walks residence that uh, his home that's in there. Um, I think Queen has her place in here if I double check here. Uh, yep that's her house. Uh, so this is her apartment right here. Uh, so we had a very big need for this place as a residence and also uh, we have uh, another little door here, a little I don't know, secret room if you want to say, where we have villagers and we have an enchantment table around here, right there. Some more villagers and there's the uh, exit on the other side so you can just come up here. Now there's also a staircase up to this floor here and you can go in here. So this would be, you know, whoever uh, whoever it is who wants to come and join us here. This is the one house that you can take. And there's this one, Dragon. Dragon is one of another old PR player who's come and joined us on EMC. Uh, he's another old member of the Jinsu Empire, and he's just rejoined us recently, so he's got his home there. And uh, we have two, uh, so we have a total of three, uh, I think this, this one's already been taken, if I look, it looks like so. Uh, oh no, maybe not. I don't know. We have to take a look and see. Uh, this one seems to have. Uh, I think there was, yeah, someone did take this house here. I forgot who it was, but uh, they need to uh, put their name over the door. Uh, whoever it was. But so we got two leftover places here. So if you are here, what the next thing you want to do is you want to come in here and right click on a bed. So you right click on a bed and you see it says bed spawn location set and uh, that's after you've chosen your home that you want to live in. You really need to do this as soon as you get here because if you happen to get killed or die or whatever you know th this will allow you to spawn at that bed spawn otherwise if you don't have a bed spawn you'll end up spawning all the way back at spawn and have to go all the way down that trip so that's not something you really want to do. Food is free we have public farms we have jobs for everybody. We have our Discord server, which uh, once you join up in here, we'll have, we can have someone, either a shogun or a me member of one of the team leaders, uh, to be able to help you out by helping you join the Discord server. Then you can be able to talk with us and communicate without having to type. Uh, we also have plenty of food to go around here. Down over here, if you go down back this way, we have a railway down here that leads to the original Jinsu settlement and it, this also leads to Kaijoni and also there's this our story called the starter village and it's a seven minute and thirty second ride to the starter village so we like to call this the go get a sandwich and come home railway just because it takes that long another thing you want to do is once you do arrive here is uh... you know get your boat pick it up because of course you're gonna have cluttered boats otherwise and put it into this we have this whole box full of boats that we can put in. And uh, so you put it in there. I'm going to put my other boat in here too. And uh, then head back to wherever it is you want to go. Uh, the logging cabin and fishing dock, this acts as our storage area uh, until we end up with the major 
the major one that the major warehouse that's going to be in Jitsu City. Jitsu City is being cleared out for in preparation for it to be built. We're gonna, this time we're going to actually implement the Spark Rail system all together. And uh, you can always check for tutorials on my channel to find out about how to build those things. So we're gonna keep on going, um, you know, day to day. You meet the other people here in Jitsu and uh, be able to, you know, just take part in the Jitsu Empire. If you wanna come join us to uh, join the service, you just go to play.emc.gs and uh, that will get you to uh, Empire Minecraft. Uh, just do slash SMP1 and after you've done the tutorial and then head over here using the directions on this video and you'll be able to join us here on the Empire my, uh, in Empire Minecraft on uh, the new Jinsu Empire and imagine all this stuff is completely legit uh, that we've been uh, unlike on Paradise Runs where we built everything with spawn and stuff and all that stuff that that big old thing is, and everything here is completely legit uh, we had to mine for everything or gather stuff etc so that's pretty much it for today I hope you managed to enjoy it and we don't uh, just uh, look forward to the next uh, episode will be probably maybe might go to Kaido Ni or might go down to the site for Jinsu, uh, where Jinsu is being taken care of by uh, Suki Ryu, and uh, you know just see what next what next uh, may uh, happen to do with the next episode of the Jinsu Empire. This is Check the Effects signing off. I will see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Peace.